Hi, my name is Scott Ellis. I'm the president and CEO of Michigan Grain Distillery. I co-own the distillery with my business partner, Mike Bird. We're proud to be part of this uh, Lansing area, and we were proud to be able to step up during this pandemic and help make hand sanitizer. It all started when this pandemic started coming out, and we were hearing that there's a shortage of hand sanitizer. I was at my son's school, and they were talking about making homemade versions of sanitizer because they, we knew there was going to be a shortage. And of course, this was prior to being um, school shut down. I went back to my partner and said, Mike, can we do this? Of course, he jumped right on it, knew what we needed to do, figured it out. We uh, originally started selling sanitizer with just basically our, our ethanol that we end up making vodka out of with baby oil in it. Then as it progressed, we realized that this was going to be a longer pro process and we were going to be in this for a while. Uh, and the federal government allowed us to do this. We, start, we reached out to find out the rules and we started making FDA and TTB approved hand sanitizer. We switched gears 100% into uh, making sanitizer for local fire departments, police departments, um, and many more places. We are surviving today back um, selling bulk ethanol um, because we were able to pivot and do the sanitizer to keep us going. And then because of that, ethanol shortages around the country, people started calling us for our bulk ethanol. And we are now producing bulk ethanol for many more places that we were not prior to the pandemic. We're not making as much sanitizer as we have been. We are still doing it for certain places and we will continue as needed, but we are trying to focus on getting back our business back to normal and we will continue to work on this. However, it was amazing to be able to pivot and help save uh, people and help get this out to everybody we could. So again, I wanna thank my business partner, Mike Bird, for being able to do that. And we're proud of how we can help the community uh, and continue to help and hopefully we can in the near future.